Good morning, good people. I'm Father Dwayne Reinert, a Capuchin since 1970 and ordained in 1976, speaking to you from St. Conrad Friary in Lawrence, Kansas. September the 20th is the memorial uh, in honor of St. Andrew Kim Tagon and 102 Korean martyrs. The faith in Korea uh, really got established in the mid uh, 1800s and a number of Koreans were martyred for their faith. Pope St. John Paul II uh, journeyed to Seoul, South Korea to visit with the Korean church and there did something then for the first time, and that is to canonize St. Andrew Kim and his 102 companions, uh, to canonize them as saints of the church on Korean soil. And during that ceremony, this is what Pope St. John Paul II said, at least in part. The Korean church is unique because it was founded entirely by lay people. This fledgling church, so young and yet so strong in faith, witness, withstood wave after wave of fierce persecution. Thus, in less than a century, it could boast of 10,000 martyrs. The death of these martyrs became the leaven of the church and led to today's splendid flowering of the church in Korea. Even today, their undying spirit sustains the Christians in the Church uh, of Silence in the north of this tragically divided land. On September 20th, as we each year honor the Korean martyrs, we see in them the great witness to the love of Christ. They poured out their life completely for love of Christ, who poured out his life and his love completely for us on the cross. So today, as we honor them and as we ask for their intercession, know that we Capuchins are praying for you and your intentions. We ask that you pray for us as well.